What's going on guys, fish in the eyes. It's super early in the morning, but it's for a good reason. We're gonna go flying. We're gonna chase some of those big bluefin tuna. You guys are gonna be excited. Stick with me on this adventure. I'm gonna be heading to the airport here in a minute. Boom. Look at that. That means I'm packed. There we go. How excited are you guys to watch this content? Bluefin tuna, I got three nights in the salt. I can't even explain how excited I am right now. I got a cup of joe though, it's like too early in the morning. Buddy, heck yeah. I'm gonna start loading up the car right now. Someone's gonna drop me off at the airport. We're gonna go catch some loud stick tuna. Can't cut, it's YouTube. Yippee ki yay. All right guys, enough of that. Check it out guys, steel head gear. If you guys want to get any discounts on steel gear, use code ODDS15, get 15% off. Go to their website, purchase anything you want. Discount applies for everything. So I'm going to load up. We're going to hit the hit the road here. Be at the Portland airport in roughly, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I don't live very far away. Then, board the plane, fly to San Diego. How do you bring a passport? There's a chance we can go into the Mexican waters to find these fish. Depends. We'll see. Stick around. Go, folks, Portland Airport. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all the songs from a long time ago. Pine for the old days of yore. Just before morning, we take our final destination in Ohio. Completely full, all the rest will be limited. You guys check your bag. No problem. Loading the plane. Hey, do you guys have room in the storage closet for this? Uh, Maybe. Uh, let me see. Fishing pole. Move it around later. That's fine. It's not gonna fit. <laughs> oh, it's, what about like this? Yeah, it's not gonna fit. So okay. Okay. That's fine. It's too long. Thank you. items under the seat such as your coats, your jackets, your backpacks, your purses, your purses, and place your larger bags overhead. If you are seated in the exit row, please review the exit seat requirement. Well, let the pull of the plow bring the sweat from my brow and the glow of the fire pulled me home. Take me back. 
back down the old dirt road. We crash landed in San Diego, guys. This bluefin tuna trip is going to be exciting. Brandon will be here in an hour. My buddy going on the trip with me. And then we're going to get after it, guys. We'll be in the ocean for three nights. Woo! Buddy, it's going to be killer. Subscribe if you haven't. I couldn't wait for Brandon no longer, guys. Here we are. We have arrived. I had to come down to the beach and check it out. Uh, Brandon's still at the airport. I had to walk like 10 or so minutes to get down here. But that's okay. I'll get picked up from here. I'd rather sit right here than in an airport. So it's beautiful, man. Perfect weather, palm trees everywhere. This is gonna be exciting. I'm glad you guys are going on this adventure with me. I'm out here for five days, man. We're just gonna have a blast. We're gonna have as much fun as we can have. We're gonna party hard and we're just gonna enjoy life and that's the way it should be. So subscribe, folks. Probably said that already, but let's get after it. All right, guys, so first thing I did when I got to the airport in San Diego is uh, just Brandon. First thing I was supposed to do was wait for him. That way a ride could pick us up, but I just had to go to the beach. So I left and went down to the beach. It's going to be such a good time on this trip. We're going to spend two extra days in San Diego outside of our fishing trip. And then we're going to be fishing the other three or four days, guys. So this is going to be an amazing time. We're chasing the world's biggest tuna, the bluefin tuna recorded up to 1500 pounds we're excited man we are super excited also the most expensive tuna so we're chasing the most expensive tuna the fattiest of all the tunas and we couldn't be more excited guys i want you to stay tuned on this trip you're gonna enjoy it i'm gonna enjoy it i think we're gonna have a great time also we may be after a little bit of yellowtail so you never know my chariot is arriving boys hell yeah Brandon. Oh. Dude, that guy's rock fishing right there. Is he? Did he get him? How's it going, man? Yeah, Alex. Why was my door? Yeah. He only gets two of those little cups a day, oh. which is a third of a cup. Shop around San Diego. Got some stuff for the old tuna. And many more in there. Back at the place for the night. All we gotta do left is wake up in the morning and go fishing, guys. We went all over the San Diego shops looking for these leader systems. And check this out, guys. Look at this. Giant Spro setups. These things are killer. Let's take it out of the back and take a look. We went to a whole bunch of different places in San Diego tackle shops looking for this stuff. We also got <laughs> these uh, circle hooks, ringed, ringed hooks. Check that out. That's for live bait. Keep keep your live bait on there. Those are pretty cool. We got 40 pounds. We got 40 pound gold label. So the thing about gold labels, it's lighter in diameter. So those are pretty sweet as well. You need that for tuna. I guess or line chai sometimes. Um, we have different sizes of those ring hooks. I guess one odd's good, I guess size one's good, and I guess two odd's good. So we got a whole bunch of those different ring hooks. But that Spro thing, guys, I'll pull out of the package and show you. It's killer. I think we're gonna catch some tuna on that thing. That's, I guess that's like nighttime fishing. I'm here to learn. I wanna learn everything about this fishery, so get after them crazy, most sought after bluefin tuna. So we'll be checking out here soon. We're gonna get a pizza, wake up in the morning be on our journey. We're gonna be out in the salt for a long time. So stick around. I have one a day. I don't know. Well yeah, but that's what I was but saying. But they don't they don't market it like that. So people think like that's so much sugar, it's ridiculous. Which it's so much of a better solute for you than salt. You think it's better to drink a Gatorade than uh percent what about the Gatorade? The sugar sugar what about the Gatorade Ox. <clears throat> Okay. Are you goofy or regular? Goofy. Alright so I'm scared right, so. dude I'm like scared. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe turn the other way. You need something to hold on to. Or you can hold on to my shoulders. You need something. I'm telling you right now. You what if it starts taking off? Will I just, just, you carry me? Jump off. So. I can't jump off. No, no, no. no, no. So, so the, the thing is, you can't, stop. You can't have, you gotta have, 
see this is that this side and on this side they both have to be activated so your foot has to be completely flat so no, on, on back and front just on the front okay. the back doesn't matter so whoa well, hold on hold on get off because so here red or blue blue and then once you go level that's oh, oh, no, see I, that's when it gets activated why did, why did it go that way when you went level because i was a little bit this way just just jump on just literally just jump straight on like Jump, like just jump, jump. <laughs> there you go, yeah, there you go. That's that crazy. Perfect. Let's try that again. <clears throat> yeah, so if any, like I'm telling you, if anything happens, you just gotta jump like. Watch out. <laughs> Crank it. <laughs> right by the Explorer. I don't know. It's not bad, dude. It's kind of cruising around, is it? So if you lift your, your front heel... Brandon, try that shit. No way, I'm gonna die. No, you're gonna like it, dude. I'm gonna die. Hey, jump it. Jump it, dude. Send it. Send it. Yeah, jump it with the beer. Blue fan and Heineken. What happened holding on to something? No, here, here, I got you. Are you ready? And then if it goes one way, is jump off. Just jump off. Just literally. And then but, so but, speeding up is going like putting your weight yeah, forward, but, so but, it's all weighted. Right? But jump off evenly on, on your feet. Like jump off like. Right. But like don't like don't go like this. It starts once I put this foot on. Yep. Yep. No, no, it starts once you level out. There you go, it started. And then I can go forward. Yep. If you're getting sketchy, just jump. <laughs> jump. Oh, uh, see? <laughs> that was almost back. Yeah, I know. It's almost that back. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 because your back foot was still was on. Yeah, and it was. And I went that yeah. way. Alright, I kind of get it now. Get Not it. as bad though, right? I can kind of see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, just cruise. There you go. Yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do a turn. <laughs> Don't go over the bump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the turns can be a little scary. Yeah. Why not actually be going the other way? <laughs> Wake up, Jack. <laughs> oh, it's time to go kill some tuna. Take two in San Diego. <sighs> but really, it's like day one. This is real day one, yeah. Day one chasing tuna, guys. We're gonna get after it. I'm so sick of hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> it only went off. That was so perfect. <laughs> you ready or what? I'm so ready, dude. It was nice. We freaking, we both got, we tried to get down here yesterday. We were gonna fly down initially Thursday night, but we had to work and do stuff. So we booked like 6 a.m. flights um, Friday morning. So we had to get up at like 3.30 and obviously we're like super last minute people. So we didn't go to bed till what? Midnight, one o'clock. <laughs> so we got, as always, before all of our fishing trips, two hours of sleep. But it went hard yesterday. Yeah, we got down here with my cousin though, and thankfully put us up and got a good night's sleep. Got some good pizza last night and wings and got a couple beers and got a good night's rest. Let's go have fun on the gun. Yeah, I'll have to show you guys some of the shirts and uh, sweatshirts and. All kinds of stuff that Carson put together for us on the trip. I think we got to start getting there about 8 o'clock in the morning. 
We've got about an hour. It's like 7.15 right now. So, stay tuned, guys. Subscribe. It's going to be a good day. Day one, I guess it's going to be a lot of motoring to get into the tuna grounds. We are packed up, guys. Boom. Hey, rock and roll. Boom. Boom. So we're going to head out. <laughs> like a boner in sweatpants. Like a boner in sweatpants. We're going to go get some coffee <laughs> and then get to the port and meet all the people on the Shogun. Doing some Shogun bluefin tuna sport fishing. We got here, folks. Check it out. Look at this place, you guys. We're going to do it. Bluefin tuna. They're offloading tuna right over here. Off the same boat that we're going on. That's a good sign. They just finished an eight day. I didn't even know they offered a trip that long, but it sounds like they all got fish, so. Yep. Ocean might be a little sloppy, but that's normal because we showed up, so we expected that. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's looking decent this morning. Let's yeah. hope that stays yeah. stays up, so. All right. We got Carson right here coming up to talk to us, so <laughs> we're gonna get in there and get some things going. Look at that, dudes, they're cleaning blue fans. Like a Same boat we're going on. Look how fat that is. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you excited? Oh, I'm so excited, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get some really cool footage for you guys over the next few days. Hell yeah. Some really fun stuff. New ways of fishing. Let's go get different than a, like a salmon guy. Dude. Yeah. Different sport out here. Well, we're relaxing here in the in the in the harbor here, and. It's a different world out here. Clear it up. You been on these tuna charters? Different world. Where are you from? Uh, Washington, Vancouver. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Are you on the show then? Yep. Yeah. That's my boat. Oh, it's your boat. Yeah. How you doing? You should have a good time. My name is Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice okay. to meet you, my name's Frank. What's your name again? Alex. Alex. Yep. The main thing you got to realize is the nighttime fishing. Don't go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll keep that in mind. You can put a lot of, I mean, if you got to sleep, you're just exhausted, try to only sleep two or three hours because yeah. you never know when they're going to hit the right stop. Right. And nighttime is when they bite something usually the best. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you know, you might go four hours and don't get a school that bites. And then all of a sudden you get one that bites and they'll bite for an hour. And then if you miss it, you're oh, done. Damn. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. you Take some cat naps during the day and. Yep. Yeah. Where's the boat at right now? Getting fuel. Gotcha. Yeah, we might need fuel, I think. That's a good idea to have it. <laughs> it's not a bad little breakfast spot. No, the food's good. Yeah. I'm just having fun. Yeah. There's the boat, guys. She's parking. Charters or yep. Walking down. There she is. Just boarded the show gun. On it. Let's go. Get on the boat. Dude, this is a big boat. You could. We gotta go in there, don't we? What's the room number? Just got in here. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go down. Rooms four through twelve. Boys. How's it going? Pardon's and airplanes. <laughs> dude, this thing is just it's like a restaurant, dude. One, two, dress. Alright. This is perfect. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, dudes? Uh, Hell yeah. Is this is this one? 
It's you guys. Oh, uh, we get a party in here, dude. This There's is the spot. I'm just bored of guys. Got the luggage up here. Oh, dude. There's a top bunk. There's a bottom bunk. This boat's huge. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. You guys can't tell, but it is huge out here. Oh, it's it's huge. We got a sink. There's a bathroom right next door. Dude, cooking with oil. Taking off, boys. I guess we got one more. How? Like eight hours. Yeah, it's probably. Well, I mean, it depends. I don't know if we're going north or south yet. We'll we'll know once we get out of the harbor, but. Probably gonna end up napping during the day, guys, and I'll tell you why, because night fishing, it's worth that. You don't want to be sleeping at night when the fish are biting, because you got 20 minutes, that's what they say. You got 20 minutes in that school, you better get out there and get your fish. Yeah, it happens quick, man. It happens quick. It happens real quick. the bait dock guys. I gotta show it off dude. Look at that. These cooks are killing it. All right, folks, we're gonna go down for a nap right now. We have a nine hour motor. So we won't be there till 9.30 at night and then we'll get fishing. So if we need to nap while we can't. We've only done two hours of our motor. We've done two hours of our motor and drank enough beers and had some lunch and enjoyed the scenery. And now it's time to see if we can nap. And we're in the bow, so Brandon and I actually have We're the roughest spot. We have the, the roughest boat. spot in the whole boat. It's not fun. But also, <laughs> We're pretty salty people, I'm not gonna lie. We don't we don't really get sick like some other people do, so Carson put us up front. <laughs> so we're gonna, Yeah, fucking hell. So we're gonna we're gonna go to sleep guys, check with you in a little bit. It's nighttime guys. Guess there's good signs of tuna around so we'll start fishing for pretty soon. is on, he's fishing. Got one hooked up here. First bluefin. Just keep it tight, you'll be all right. I lost two up there. Did you? Absolute cluster out here guys, like 20 rods, a couple fish on, three or four fish on, all in this corner right here. Absolute cluster. All right, we're free. Start walking this way, he'll follow you. He'll follow you. He'll follow you. I can't believe I lost you. Stay over here, bud. Stay over here. Stay right there. Yeah, get, get over. You want that thing over out of this cluster buck, for sure. There you go, boy. <laughs> what do you think? Dude, pulled pretty good, huh? What's that third one I've hooked? Yeah. Even right at the top. Why, why, why? How's he doing? 
doing, buddy? He's doing fantastic. <laughs> He's lying. He's paid to say that. <laughs> he said I was doing good a minute ago, too. Come on all the way up to the bow. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. This is a freaking bloody mess of tuna. Just reeled this one in. That was mine. That's going in the video. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Woo! Oh, it's a good one, buddy. It better not be bigger than mine. Left, wind, wind in the left, right? You gotta come on the other side of it, right? Left. He looks so tired, bro. <laughs> I believe this is. I think this is yours. That's he's using my rig. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey. Look at this, guys, on the gaff. First bluefin. Big one, too. We need a second gaff. We need a second gaff on that. Buddy, can you go get another gaff, please? Is that red thing? Yeah, whole thing. Yeah. Holy shit. My forearms! Forearms! Hey, buddy! Oh. No. Where's my jig? Hey. You can use mine. There it is. Boom, baby. Eight tuna so far, guys. It's like 11.30 at night. Let's get some more. That's awesome, man. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, how was your tuna, dude? Uh, one. Yeah, a little 25 pound fish. A lot harder than honestly, like maybe 150 pounds. Just dropped. Yep. Coming down. Yeah. Go under. Under. I got color, boys. Got some two more. Ten days off. Yeah. Hopefully you win the big fish so you get all the cash so you can pay your bill. <laughs> I didn't sign up for it. Oh, you didn't? No. Nope. That is how tired everybody is, guys. Yo, 
Oh, uh, just keep working it left. It'll go left. Oh! Hey, Sean! There you go. Up to the rail. Walk up to the rail. Start walking that way, okay? Hey, Sean. Coming left. Coming in, guys. Guys, wind up if you're not bad. Why? Why, 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 why? Watch this straight. I got a fish on right here. I know. Come on. Copy that. Got him. You got him. Good drink. Right here. You got him. He's cool. Here, go under my rod. I got a fish on. I got a fish on. Oh, this thing is fighting. Walking up, buddy. You want me to hit nope. Okay. Walk up that one. Coming over, guys. Coming up, gang. Guys, oh. keep walking down. Nice. Yeah. Go, yeah. That's a nice one. Hell yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's a big boy. What do you think it is? 60, 70? Oh, this is over, huh? Oh, is it? Four o'clock in the morning, guys. Four o'clock. I'm in the galley right now. Chefs are sleeping. A lot of guys are sleeping. Uh, yeah, we're drinking breakfast. Everybody else is sleeping. Everybody else is sleeping. Take a look at the rest of the video. I'm not sleeping. But hey, so far, I think I have the biggest tuna on the boat. We lost the biggest tuna that would have been on the boat. Um, but we folks, he took the most, I think. Like eight or nine. Yep. Eight or nine fish for Brandon. I hooked five. I landed two, and they're the biggest perfect tuna, like, I think they're 200 pounds. Yeah. I caught them pretty really good. Last time I was out here, we fished two and a half days, and caught it with seven tuna. And our first drop, we had eight tuna in 20 minutes. Yep. I think it was like our fourth or fifth drop that was that next one. We got like 13 tuna, I think. Fourth or fifth. Yeah, fourth or fifth drop. We've lost a ton of fish too. We had uh, 18 fish, we were like 18 to 30 something, so now we're 38 fish. We probably have cumulatively 60 fish, it's been pretty good. Yeah, first night too, guys. So, our ratio changed quickly. It was very, very bad the first night. And people were tangling everywhere. I mean, I lost tuna because of all the tangles that we had. Yeah. I mean, people's braid is literally, that's not my last one. Bra the braid There's is so much friction. It's sawing the fish Yeah, because yeah, you have like four braids on your braid. Like, there's no room for all this to happen if the tuna runs the wrong way. So, <laughs> no, this has been great though. Like, first night, it's four o'clock in the morning right now, and we're ready for, for night two with the wind. So, we actually heard it was blowing 35 knots just a little bit ago. 30. And it hasn't gotten better throughout the night. And right now, all the deckhands and the captains are up there making a game plan for I think tomorrow. Maybe we'll go tuck behind an island and do some yellowtail. I don't know yet. It's to be discussed. Uh, let's see, we're going to try to get another drop or two, though, because the weather's going to Yep. We put another. Every drop has been like 10 kills. So. Yes, sir, guys. And with that said, we're slowing down right now, so it's a good sign. Hit that subscribe button. We'll get back out there and maybe drop one more time. None of us have slept.
All right, folk. We're in our bunk. It's a little tight corridors, but yeah, day. Fucking off road. It's six in the morning, guys. Five fifty-three in the morning right now. We've been up for all day and all night. Hours, all day and all night. So we're we're gonna check out. We're gonna say good night right now, and then we'll see you guys in the later part of the morning <laughs> when we have breakfast. Uh, I'll get a few hours of sleep. Good day though. Get a lot of fish. Get a lot of fish. Probably hooked 50, 60 fish all together for day one. So uh, we tried one more attempt about five o'clock this morning, and they weren't biting. So we're exhausted. Needless to say. We're gonna hit the sheets. See you in the morning. Just woke up from a Hour nap. Had breakfast. This guy's got a tuna on on live bait. Cranking it. Right, pretty good on live bait, huh? Oh yeah. Nice one.
purple uh, yellow yellow fin and blue fin on that one. Probably about six fish. One of the biggest one was about 60 pounds, and that's just on 40 pound test. That's what it takes so long to get these fish in. But uh, never really slept, so I'm gonna try to go back to sleep until we find another pod. Stick around. That's just our first daytime trip. <laughs> Got one of them tunas on, Brandon? Oh. Oh, I'm not sure. I think it's a fish, though. Sunfish? <laughs> yeah, it's one of those big... What are those called? Those big... Brandon's on, boys and girls. Is that that little jig? Well, what is it? Brandon? It's a beach. It's <laughs> a El Pescado. Hey, you got a Oh. It is. It is. That's a sunfish. Oh. I thought it would smoke for you. Try to pull it out. You might be able to just get the hook with the gaff, huh? Snagger. <laughs> Smallest little hooks, too. Smallest trouble. That's all that jig. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> nice work, Dale. Got a sunfish. Oh. Sorry about your jig. We're so close to getting the jig back, too. Oh, damn. Well. Womp, womp, womp. Hey, good work. Nice work. Dude, way to go. Good job, young buck. Nice fish. Five, sir. Go lay down there. Good job, dude. Good job. Today is day number one. We had night number one last night. I guess the tuna bite a lot better at night. Uh, we probably hooked six or seven during the day here. And uh, that's a lot of tuna. I mean, no one's complaining. 
but the nighttime bite, that's the way to go. That is absolutely the way to go. Um, so we need to get some sleep during the day here because when you're up at night, you're up all night. We were up, we were up at, uh, I guess, the morning before, and then we motored out, which is about an eight hour motor out, out to where we're at. Um, and then beyond that, um, we started night fishing, probably nine o'clock. We fished from nine all the way to like 5.30 a.m. and went to bed at six. Woke up at eight, had breakfast, been up ever since. And then we had lunch at noon. And then we had some uh, yellowtail tacos, so those were killer. But we'll probably get some rest here for night number two. So stick around, guys, subscribe. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. It's been killer so far. Huh? Yeah, we got another. Literally all night fishing again. It's loaded. I've seen a ton of tuna, but they just don't bite. So we're gonna get a two-hour nap, have some lunch, fish all night. Just got done with oh, with dinner. Everybody just got done with dinner. Let's go watch the sunset. Ah. Oh. Five star. Fisherman. Five star. You said eight? Eight. Dude, I'm yeah, so pissed I don't have that jig anymore. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Yeah. Fuck, oh, I don't know how big that is. It's big. What, 80? Yep. <laughs> there it is, right there. Perfect. Nice one. Just caught my third tuna, and it was a big one. This is the second night. I'm gonna go out here and get some, get some stuff on footage for you guys. I don't need to fish this guys.
Look at you, Brandon. What's that? Yeah. Hey. Trying to get one? Hey, Brandon, let's. No, I was just gonna put my. I was gonna dangle my dangle. Let's see what happens. Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. Fish on, boys. Yeah, I'm trying to reel it. Fish on. Deal. Look. Grant. Grant. He's doing good. Out of the way. Put him apart. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Nice one, bud. Alright guys, so second, back to the third drop. 
first drop this night, night two, we got like five or six uh, bluefin. Second drop, I got one and another guy got a little one. Brandon lost another one. Brandon lost another one. And then this drop, old timer over here just got himself a nice one. So. We got two that drop actually. We got a nice like 80 pounder. Yep. Catching, kind of picking away. It's not like last night where it was just lights out, but kind of like each drop, it's a couple, two, three fish. So. Absolutely. Get some. Yeah. Get on some more. Stick around, guys. Yeah. On, that, oh, on that drop, we went like five or ten. So that was good. A lot of chaos. This tuna fish didn't breed, man. Didn't breed. So a total on three for eight, guys. I'm going to hit the hay. Night number two is done. We might go for yellowtail in the morning. Yellowtail is a white fish, cut great fish tacos, everything like that. They're beautiful, they get like 10 to 15 pounds. They, they like it. And we're right by Mexico. These fish like that area. So, um, that being said, hopefully there's some yellowtail content for you guys after the bluefin content. If the yellowtail's not popping, we're going back to bluefin. But we've, the boat's up like 70 bluefin, maybe a little more. And we've landed, I think, 50, high 50s. So it's been good guys. We might even be at about 60 now. So subscribe. I'm gonna hit the hay guys. See you in the morning. We're right in time for breakfast. Day number two fishing and night number three. So should be a good one. I'm gonna head up, some coffee, breakfast. Hopefully we get some yellowtail. Just had some oatmeal, some yogurt, <coughs> some orange juice. Just chilling in the galley while we motor out. Just had breakfast. It's <clears throat> the most sleep I've gotten. I slept like seven hours. I missed a little bit of a bite yesterday, but I've gotten a lot of nice tuna, so I don't really. I was taking advantage of that. I wanted to go to sleep. But we have uh, some fishing probably around 3 o'clock today. I think it's going to be in Mexico. And then we also have uh, perhaps some yellowtail uh, if you find a kelp. Patty. So, stick around guys, we still have a whole other day to fish after we get done motoring. We've been motoring for several hours right now and then we're actually not going to stop motoring until about 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock is about when we're going we're gonna to be there. Once we get there, I think we're going to look for some bluefin spots in Mexico. And then beyond that, we're going to uh, look for those kelps and get some relative. Yellowtail's not a promise, but if the blue thing goes good enough, we'll get out there. Deck, guys, most people are sleeping, just hanging out. Hey, it's beautiful out here. You have no idea. This is amazing. If you haven't done a bluefin tuna trip, you gotta do it. There's nothing better.
get this one. I'm sure. Man. Almost dinner time. Starting dinner, people. Last night. Last night. I would guess it's pretty, uh, probably pretty similar. Yeah, I don't think there's a little bunch of, like, room in the house with ours there. Like, I know, it seems like it. Sun's going down, boys. Almost time for the last night.
Damn, son. That's that's skill though, man. Parking that shit backwards like that. It's called a professional grade A certified back it up, baby. You too. Hope to see you back next year. We will. I don't see any trout. Big trout. Eight. <clears throat> Drag him over to this guy. My babies. Hey, <clears throat> Drag him over to this guy. My babies. All right, guys. This is Brandon and I's haul. We got eight fish total. It was a banner day. Couldn't ask for anything better. Actually, banner three. Three days. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but uh, these are good sized fish, man. None of it's gonna go to waste. We just had a great time. We got a little trout over here too. <laughs> we got a little right here. A little salmon sized one. Me and me next to a good one. But, I'll tell you what, it's a bummer to be off the boat, but at the same time, flatland is kind of nice. Flatland's nice. Actually, flatland's really in. nice. Yes. I'm gonna it's fall so in the shower. <laughs> yeah. You were still rocking a little? Yeah, you feel it. Like when I was dragging fish over, I bent over to pull them over here and just fell <laughs> twice. Night number one. Well, I can, pretty, I can pretty prescribe you some uh, motion sickness. Oh, yeah. But anyway, guys, subscribe. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. These are all going to turn into what? Two compacts? Two compacts. Two combo packages. And Did you guys catch enough, do you think? No, we need 16 more. We need more. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries.